France has summoned the U.S. envoy in Paris over claims that the U.S. spied on President François Hollande and his two predecessors, officials say. Whistleblower website Wikileaks reports the U.S. National Security Agency, NSA, spied on Mr. Holland, Nicolas Sarkozy and Jacques Chirac between 2006 12. Mr. Holland called an emergency meeting and said France would not tolerate acts that threaten its security. The U.S. said it would not comment on specific intelligence allegations. Ned Price, a spokesman for the U.S. National Security Council, added that the U.S. was not targeting and will not target the communications of Mr. Holland. The NSA has previously been accused of spying on German Chancellor Angela Merkel and on Brazilian and Mexican leaders. Analysis, Hugh Schofield, BBC News, Paris. None of the leaks is earth-shattering. In one Jacques Chirac pushes for the nomination of Tyrod Larson as UN Undersecretary General. Nicolas Sarkozy says he wants to help Perna Ricard in a row with the US over rum. Three days after taking office, François Hollande calls secret meetings to discuss the Greek crisis. Most of this could have been gleaned by diplomats at the US Embassy simply doing their job, rather than by the spy station that Liberation newspaper says operates on the embassy roof. The impression given is of an agency scooping up indiscriminate quantities of information and for little benefit. As the French intelligence expert François Heisberg put it, they do it because they can. None of which will allay the anger of the French government. Of course they know that spying goes on, even between friends. But the cardinal rule is not to get found out. When you do, you must expect the full force of diplomatic outrage. French Foreign Minister Laurent Fabius has summoned U.S. Ambassador Jane Hartley to discuss the latest claims, French officials said. Ms. Hartley is expected to visit the Foreign Ministry in Paris on Wednesday afternoon. A statement from the French presidency, in French, said the U.S. must respect a promise not to spy on French leaders. The French statement came after an emergency meeting of security chiefs in Paris. A senior French intelligence official is meanwhile expected to visit Washington to discuss the reports. French aware? Wikileaks began publishing the files on Tuesday, under the heading Espionage Elysee, a reference to the French presidential palace. It said the secret files derive from directly targeted NSA surveillance of the communications of the three French presidents as well as French ministers and the ambassador to the U.S. The Wikileaks files have now been published by France's Liberation newspaper and the Mediapart investigative website. One of the files, dated 2012, is about Mr. Holland discussing Greece's possible exit from the Eurozone. Another one, from 2011, alleges that Mr. Sarkozy was determined to resume peace talks between Israel and the Palestinians, possibly without U.S. involvement. A file dated 2010 suggests that French officials were aware that the U.S. was spying upon them and intended to complain about it. According to the summary of an intercepted exchange, the French envoy to Washington and Mr. Sarkozy's diplomatic adviser discussed Mr. Sarkozy's plan to express his frustration over U.S. unwillingness to sign a bilateral intelligence cooperation agreement. The main sticking point is the U.S. desire to